George Parker, reform yes. does not mean an emphasis on academics. It simply means whatever Melvin thinks it means. Well, let me, I think uh, to some degree, I think Melvin has a point there. And let me say this. I think, you know, whenever I talk to news reporters, you know, and, 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 and the number one question is, well, with Michelle Reed going, what do you think is going to happen to reform? And I'd often say, okay, beyond firing teachers, beyond creating an evaluation instrument that we believe at this point does not accurately measure uh, teacher performance, beyond those two things, tell me what it is when you say Michelle Reeves reform. Well, one thing would be that she changed significantly the downtown organizational structure of the school system. And she changed the principal system uh, well, to empower the, the, principals. The I'm not going to argue for her, but I'm just is, saying those are the things she cites. Well, here's the key. It would be interesting for someone to look and see how the teachers feel about that. Our teachers feel that the new principals that have been brought in, for the most part, are worse than the old principals. Now, well, well I don't think we're ever going to. This is like trying to settle Middle East peace. I just don't <laughs> right, think we're going to settle doubt. it. Well, what I'm saying is, is that no one has taken the time to evaluate for example, Michelle Ree has reformed over 60 schools, restructured. No one has taken the time to look beyond the firing of teachers, which is sensational and sexy, putting in a tough evaluation system that everybody say, oh, now teachers are held accountable for 50% of their performance is based on the students. Beyond that, no one has looked at each of those 60 schools to actually see what kind of programs have been placed in there. We have what is called the STEM program which is supposed to focus on science and technology and mathematics. No one has looked at those schools to see, really, are these programs actually working in those schools? But aren't we early in the process? I mean, the, the, I, I believe she's been a change agent and whatever you'd like to change or not, and she blows up essentially the school system and restructures it. Can you then know it's successful in a matter of 18 months to two years? Assuming I the first year was spent on Tom, I think you have to begin to monitor. Number one, let's take the STEM program. Let's talk about inclusion in terms of special education. It's one thing to say we have to bring our special education students back from the private, uh, private placements. It's another thing to say we'll put in special education students in the mainstream classroom, which I support, that our, our special education students deserve to be in the classroom with other students. Now, it's another thing to look to see, okay, have you hired enough staff? to actually make sure you have a special education teacher. Well, that's a very in good management issue, yes. Regular ed teacher to make sure that the special ed students now are also receiving the type of education that they receive. The answer is no. Well, no well see, that's a, that's a true management issue, not a philosophy issue. Do you have enough staff for the people you're bringing to the classroom? Well, it, and it, you it, save it, it, a $94 million dollars a year in transportation by not, by if you took all the kids out of special ed private schools and put them in the system, you'd have money well, to hire it, the it's teachers. It's an educational issue, though, Tom. If yeah. we're talking about improving the quality of education, then you have to evaluate the reform efforts that are taking place in terms of what are the end results in terms of improving children's education.